Coach Cole, 2014 Flow Nationals. First off, the rules. You, you, you got a lot going on here. You're, you're trying to recruit and Will's wrestling, right? Right. How do you feel about Will wrestling with these rules? Well, and they're great rules. I mean, I wish every high school, I wish high school would adopt them now. You know, the, one, I'm a big fan of riding time, although people are going to argue for or against that. And they don't have the manpower to do in the high school level, probably. But going off the mat, it's just so much more exciting. And it adds, the out of rounds in high school was ridiculous, so this is just fantastic. Bring it, you know, watching it as a, as a dad and as a, you know, college wrestling coach recruiting, how different is that? You're kind of putting two hats on. I was watching you during that crazy 7-7 seven, seven match where yep. Will ends up pulling it out. But uh, you know, how diff what, what's that like for you emotionally and you know doing your job? It's yeah, it's it's, it's actually I, I'm, I guess I've habituated to the, to the emotions a little bit more so than most parents. I see most parents in there they're going nuts. I'm a, I'm a little bit more subdued. I don't coach them in these things. I let his coaches coach them and try to stay back and let them do it. It's his own life. I've had my my experience as an athlete, and and I'm gonna have plenty of time to coach him next year, next couple of years. Uh, you know, he, he didn't he didn't win the thing. He lost some matches. I, it was frustrating, but I, I try. Not to, uh, I try not to be a coach in these events. I just let him go and pat him on the back. And, you know, if I see something glaringly wrong that he needs to work on, I'll tell him. But uh, I'm a better dad than a coach to him. When you, uh, you're, and then you're doing the recruiting thing too. So you're, you're well, you emotionally know. invested, <laughs> and then you got to do some recruiting. What's that like? Uh, well, you know, the recruiting is at Cornell is a little different. I mean, we can go back and look at results because, you know, if you don't have the grades, it doesn't matter how good you are. So we, we go out and find out how these kids do, and then we go and find out what kind of students they are. So you really don't recruit a whole lot here uh, as much as you uh, just kind of, for me at least, just, just observe. And, and, you know, I personally, I came here to, to watch William wrestle and, and recruiting is secondary. Looking at bringing Will in, what's that going to be like? You've never probably ever had to coach a family member. What's that like? You know, you're going to be his coach for the next five to six years, depending on what you do with the gray shirt or whatever. But yeah. what's that going to be like? And, and have you thought about it a lot? Not really. You know, if he does well, I'm going to take responsibility for him. And if I if he doesn't, I'll I'll say Damian Hahn and my great coach. I mean, it's pretty simple. I can dig out, delegate up or down depending upon his success level, and I plan to do it that way. I like that. That's a, that's, that's, a, that's a good way to look at it. Uh, you know, looking at the, the the competition level here at this tournament, is that I mean, you guys are great. You're a great team. You're a top ten team every year. You've won team trophies. Yeah. It's unbelievable what you guys have done. You've been runner up before. You know, under your in your tenure, but. Knowing that some guys just can't get them, is that a little frustrating sometimes? Is it a great? Uh, I've learned to cut my lo car losses early and, and not worry about it, not think. I, there's some kids that say, hey, do you see so-and-so? And, -so? and I, I have no idea who he is. So I find out he's, he's a bad student. So I'm like, oh, that's why I don't know. I, I, I put blinders on early. And we, we we focus on the kids we can, we, the battles we can fight. And then uh, we fight those as hard as we can. And, and we win the, the majority of them. And that's why we've been successful. In my old days, I remember we used to recruit. I, there was a time where I would recruit 150, 200 kids a year. And I'm not exaggerating. And it was insane. And you'd recruit, if you can recruit 150 kids, you're recruiting them half ass. You know, you can't really get after them. So now we focus on about 10, 15 kids. We go after them as hard as we can. And, and we have a very, if we, can, if we can make it affordable, if we get them in, we have a very high success rate. You guys, I think, can t challenge for the team title next year. And that's my opinion. You're bringing Gabe back. That's a lot of points. Sean's a ton of points. Brian's a ton of points. And you got some guys who felt, you know, came short in the round of 12, Alonga, Gray. What do you got to do to get those guys from round of 12 to top three? Well, those guys are already right there. It's the secret weapons in the room that we have that nobody knows about that we're going to you know, wait till Cisneros breaks out and hopefully has the kind of success that he, we expect him to have. And, and we have a host of others that are people are going to say, who the heck is that kid and where did he come from? Every year we seem to have one or two. Next year we will have one or two. And you put those guys in with the group we have, um, and we, we expect to compete favorably with, with the Ohio States and, and Minnesotas of the world. When you look at uh, Cisneros, where do you do you slate him anywhere in the lineup? 49, 41, 57. What do you do with him? 41. You know, Mike Nevinger graduates this year, and, and he'll sneak in, he'll slip in at 41. Uh, I think rather favorably. When you look at Nevinger's, how he finished up, uh, injured the whole season. Yeah. Rough, rough, you know, rough finish, two-time All-American. What do you say to a guy like that who, you know, doesn't have the, the end of his career that he wants to have? Well, I mean, you're going into his career, if, we, if you told me he was going to be a two-time All-American, I would have been absolutely thrilled beyond belief. Uh, you know, he, he never, he won the States one time. Maybe it was a two-timer. He didn't win it a senior. He had a guy named Dake in his finals. Uh, but you know, he was a small school kid, and, and he's had a phenomenal career. He's got going on. He's an engineer. He has you know, He'll have unlimited job offers, and he's going to have just in a fantastic uh, uh, life. So I don't feel so sorry for Mike that he didn't win it, win it or, or place his senior year. He placed twice. 
uh, had a great career and, and hopefully will be helping out our program the next couple of years because we're expecting to get a job in Ithaca. Speaking of someone helping your program out, Kyle Dake, he's done, you know, it, it's amazing what he's done for Cornell Wrestling. And now moving forward, I think the guy can win the Olympic gold medal. I think he can win a couple of world championships before that. What does he got to do to get healthy? Well, he's got to quit breaking bones, you know. I mean, it was a freak accident. He got hurt with it you know, overseas where he broke his hand. Then he just broke, his, broke a bone in his foot. Uh, you know, we had a bunch of injuries at the end of this year, a bunch of knee injuries. People saying, what are, we, what are you doing differently than, than all of a sudden you're having knee injuries? We, we didn't do anything differently. A couple of years ago, we had a bunch of shoulder injuries. So I do believe it's a coincidence. It's a freaky thing. He's had two injuries. Um, he's just fantastic, though. He's looked, he, every time he steps on the mat, he gets a little bit better. He's had a great summer or had a great year in training, and he'll be ready when it counts this year. All right, Coach. A little more wrestling going on. Are you looking forward to the pro match tonight at all? I'm really looking forward to going home. <laughs> so no, I'm not. I mean, I, I, I hate to say that, but I, I, um, I'm wrestled out right now. I'm, we're heading out to Vegas here on Wednesday. We're going to be out to the U.S. Open. Uh, so I want to get home, get ready for that, and, and, and hopefully get our guys ready for those who are competing, getting ready for, for Vegas. All right, Coach, thanks for the time. Good thank luck you. to Will tonight in the 7th, 8th place match, and uh, good luck out in Vegas to you guys. All right, thank you.